Hi, I'm Salah Gulistanian and this is a short video about our new Cookies Consent module for .NET Nuke um, to comply with EU Cookies Law which was um, basically uh, introduced in 26 of May 2011. This means that if your organization is based in UK and you have a website that um, uh, is basically operating in UK, you need to uh, meet the new cookie law. Therefore, you need to tell your visitors about the use of the cookies and any other tracking technologies such as um, Google um, um, Analytics uh, and any other technologies um, or perhaps you have a store and you capture uh, behavior inside your store. Uh, you need to tell them and you need to tell them how to delete the cookies a typical .NET Nuke site has got child portals. It also can have modules like catalog as a store. Um, you could be also dealing with uh, your mobile users going to specific pages or perhaps a child portal with a different content. So the solution needs to cover all these scenarios. We looked at many solutions. Uh, one of them, uh, Telegraph. .co.uk um, and many others. The one which we really liked uh, was the solution uh, by British Airway and mainly because British Airway uses this um, uh, pop-up that shows up initially and one can uh, look at the terms and conditions, privacy, use of cookies. These obviously can in a .NET new scenario can be separate pages that it opens up and once the person agrees uh, they can carry on and look at that particular section of the site and you're really covered for um, the child portals, the store or any consequent uh, pages that are part of your um, portal uh, environment. So we applied the solution in one of our portal.netnuke.co.uk So if somebody wants to come in for the first time, they will see this box. Uh, the content in this box um, is basic text HTML, so you can configure it as you want. Put your own logo and put your own links. So if uh, you have more links than just terms and conditions, privacy or use of cookies, you can add it here. Um, Terms of condition opens up a new page, uh, and and here uh, you can borrow the um, content we've put in here, uh, but it mostly comes from uh, this site about cookies.org. Um, so basically, it educates the user uh, what kind of um, uh, tracking you're using uh, using cookies, and allows them to either. Uh, accept or continue. Once they continue, they go into the site and business as usual. To install the module, you basically first uh, log in as host and uh, go to host extension. Once you're in extension, go through the usual, usual procedures of uploading the uh, module into your site. Once installed successfully, you'll see this the module uh, in the module list. Apply it to the splash page or the home page of your site, basically the page that the user the first time comes in. And once applied, you, you know, apply it in a particular uh, pane, it doesn't matter where on the page. Uh, once applied, uh, you can edit the content as usual. Uh, it's basic text HTML and um, just go ahead and add your logo uh, or any other text relevant to it. You can copy. Uh, the text here and then customize it, put your own link on it. Once that's done, uh, click on the um, settings, which is this button here. And once you're in settings, um, you can see the module setting, uh, sound cookies, constant uh, settings. And you have a, a product key which you need to uh, email it to us and then we'll pass you this license key for this particular uh, URL 
and once applied updates and uh, you're in business obviously there is a seven uh, days uh, grace so you can test the module uh, local or, or even on the live sites uh, and to um, all is satisfactory before you um, ask us for the license key to test your portal to see if the EU cookies law is uh, satisfactorily working uh, obviously you need to delete the cookie in, in the browser you're using or perhaps go to a machine that you haven't been to your site before if you're using Firefox this is how you uh, um, delete the cookie uh, just go to options and in privacy section remove individual cookies uh, look for the URL uh, of your site in this case is .netnuke.co.uk um, and remove this particular cookie and then go to uh, the site and then if you do that you'll see uh, the, the, win the window which I showed you earlier so here we are, I'll come back to the site uh, after the co that cookie being deleted and I can see uh, how it looks and um, if you need to do any refinement to this um, view you can do it in text HTML associated with this module and then once I continue, boom, that's it and um, it will not appear when I'm using this browser on this PC as the uh, cookie is registered here